Islamophobia refers to discrimination or prejudice against the Muslims because of their religion, national or ethnic identity. Today, there are 2 billion Muslims in the world and the number of them is increasing day by day. Of course, there are those who disturb because of these 2 billion Muslims. And one is Vatican, who sees itself as a religious opponent. The Vatican presents itself owner of divine power and God's deputy. Because the Vatican and Catholic Church constantly come to the world agenda with the issues such as money, interests, child abuse and bigotry, reactionism, Islam is constantly spreading against it. Uh, one of them who are disturbed by the rapid spread of Islam is the Catholic Church, which, as we have said, is losing power in the face of it. The feeling of hostility towards the Islamic religion of the Christendom goes up to the 17th century when this religion emerged. As you know, the Church of Rome saw itself as the sole proprietor of the spiritual domain on earth. This enmity was first initiated by the Roman Church and then spread. Uh, especially since the 18th century, it has been used as exploitation means by Protestant, Anglican, Lutheran, Presbyterian, Baptist, Methodist, European and American Church. After 1945, Islamophobia became a violent international campaign, especially against Islamic religion. In this context, the thesis of launching the occult and mythologic Armageddon War of, Armageddon War of the evangelist groups of USA in a particular was very well evaluated. Afterwards, this situation became a Muslim-Christian conflict. Christian minorities living in Muslim countries were provoked and tried to form new puppet states. Local battles were taken to sweep the situation. Uh, if we turn to the other disturbed people from Muslims, the five permanent members of the United Nations that the states that won the Second World War and big capitalist world companies. Well, I'm asking you now, what makes them uncomfortable? Because of the two great doctrines of Islam are in a great contradiction with the capitalist system. One of them is that Muslims are against the slavery system and they have a religion on social assistance. In fact, that social assistance is so much settled within the religion that in a special month called Ramadan, People share food and clothing with each other for a month, and those who have good financial situation share at least one fourth of their wealth with the poor. This is a situation that's not in the core of any other idea or any other systems. And moreover, one of the most important of the doctrines of Islam is to be ready only in the face of Allah and to bow to Allah. Uh, Islam doesn't allow a servant to turn to another slave that's no matter how rich he is. And this, of course, this is, of course, disturbs the worldwide companies of the capitalist system and the states that support them who want to make them work for peanuts. Because Muslims do not want to work as they want. The third is, today, uh, one kilo iron costs one dollar, but if this iron becomes a gun, it will come into value a hundred times, two hundred times, maybe a thousand times. The earning on the gun industry is at least hundred to one. The largest lobby in the world is weapon lobby. So you can sell the weapon that costs a dollar, one dollar, at least a hundred dollars wherever in the world. This lobby also shows that Muslims as terrorists, anti-systemists and jihadists, and they are getting big endorsement around the world. This lobby, which consternates to the world, shows Muslims as traits and enemies, especially by, by using perception management, 
and disinformation. Perception management and disinformation. Islam is a totally tolerant religion. Even the meaning of the word Islam is justice and peace. Although this religion and 99% of its representatives do not believe in the perception management and disinformation of these weapon companies and five permanent members of the United Nations, uh, unfortunately, as a result of these provocations, Islam is to be shown as a frightening and false perception management is tried to make about it. Uh, if we go to their historical route as a result of perception management by Catholic world throughout history, uh, the Crusades, killing of millions of Muslims and Jews in Europe, thanks to Inquisition, thanks to, thanks to the Inquisition people, especially 10 million women were burned alive. The Catholic Church killed Protestants in just one night just because they had another idea from them and long running 100 years wars when you look at wars such as world war one world war two and uh, in fact if there is a phobia that should really be on earth it's christianophobia and vaticanophobia However, Muslims did not start any war around the world. Even though they fought a defensive war, Islamophobia is trying to be spread out to the whole world. In the meantime, uh, let's not forget that Islam is shown together with weapon and the drug issue. It's shown that drugs are made in a region called Golden Crescent and sold to the world. However, those who organize this event are again capitalist cities because one of the most important values of Islam, one of the most important prohibitions is drug prohibition. They are perceiving people by crapping chronic verses without looking beginning and end of the verses. Uh, and some of them that makes this are atheists. Islamophobia initiated and conducted by atheists first appeared in the uh, 17th century targeting three monotheistic religions. The first known atheist explanatory document which was published secretly and uh, was destroyed after its distribution was the treatise of three imposters. In this secret publication Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad were targeted. We can summarize the topics that the atheists addressed to make Islam enmity under four main headings. First, uh, the first book to be targeted by atheists for the purpose of the Islam enmity is Quran. The first person to be targeted by the atheists for the purpose of the Islam enmity is Muhammad. Hadiths are the first sacred text to be targeted by the atheists to make Islam enmity. The first religious political organization aimed at making the Islam enmity by atheists is Dar al Harp, Dar al Islam. The atheists insult Muhammad very heavily. According to them, most of the hadiths, one of the two pillars of Sharia, are also lies. Through the hadiths, they argue that Islam is in fact a religion of death of Lee, but not a religion of tolerance and peace, as Muslims suppose. And according to them, according to atheists, both the Quran and the hadiths turn people's lives at prison. According to them, Islam is not a religion, but an ideology. Muhammad, in fact, is a masterful strategist and cunning politician rather than a prophet. Therefore, true caliphate, the Ottomans and the Turks made up axiology and heuristic which are valid only for Dar al-Islam. In Muslim countries, semi-informed people who think they are atheists by means of the spies of the West media, West imperialism, and attains the necessary 
run to establish their invisible church in the entire Islamic geography. Let's not forget the communities that are galivast and have shaken belief system are defeated by the dominant religions. In this context, the most important of these attacks are Richard Hawkins, uh, Christopher Hitchens. There are also British, French and American attacks. And one of the perception management that is done using media is the attack which started with Salman Rushdie's book of satanic verses. Secondly, in Islam, there is the idea of that especially Muhammad and other prophets were not depicted and their figures were not drawn, deliberately almost ridiculed this issue, issue in humor magazines and erotic, erotic humor magazines by means of indecent images drawn without considering sensitive, sensitivity of people, Muslims are being herded and are expected to react. And it's always emphasized that the prophet's wife was younger than himself. But while doing this, the Vatican forgets something. Now I'm asking to all of you, Today, when looked at the icons or religious pictures, you see Virgin Mary and Jesus in her lap everywhere. Have you ever thought that? How old was Mary when Jesus was born? Was she 30, 35, or 11, 12, or 13 years old? If you ask it to a priest, he may want to parry this, but he will say maximum 13. Here is an exactly bilateral perception management and disinformation. Consequently, as you see, these actions are in very common in today's world. We must be very careful about these actions and we mustn't allow them to deceive us. And certainly Islam is a totally tolerant religion. Even the meaning of the word Islam is justice and peace.